The new documentary, Still, a Michael J. Fox movie, is available now on Apple TV, and it's an interesting way to tell the story of how Parkinson's disease has affected the man who brought Marty McFly, Alex P. Keaton, and so many others to life on the screen. This intimate documentary follows the life of beloved actor and advocate Michael J. Fox, exploring his personal and professional triumphs and travails, and what happens when an incurable optimist confronts an incurable disease. So this is unflinching with the amount of access that we get into Fox's life. We see him work with physical therapists, attend doctor visits, interact with his wife and kids, and then sit in front of the camera to tell his story, which really revolves around the last large chunk of his life as he's been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Now, in standard documentary format, we get a lot of background, going all the way back to when Fox was a very young kid, and then follow all his ups and downs as he works to just get gigs and then eventually become a huge box office draw. The presentation, though, it's done in a very unique way, and I loved it. While Fox is recounting his past in front of the camera, scenes will then switch to cuts from his movies and television shows to help visually reinforce what he's talking about, even if those topics really had nothing to do with entertainment. It's crazy how so many of his roles have elements that could be used to illustrate his real life. And then when he's on camera, it's great to see him. I mean, yeah, he's very shaky and he's constantly in motion, but what stood out to me was his passion and his vulnerability. He's matter of fact, and even when things are less than awesome in his life, he goes after it with inspiring optimism. And I think this is where the documentary shines the most. We get to see and hear about Michael J. Fox's life from the dude himself. He doesn't pull punches and he's self-deprecating at times, but he's also incredibly passionate and real about his disease and how it affects him, his loved ones, even those all over the world that suffer too. Now, I would have loved for this doc to just examine more of his foundation that he set up, but they do touch upon it and all the money that he's helped to give and raise towards Parkinson's research. Now, the doc may sound like it could be a massive downer, watching somebody actively in the throes of the disease and its effects, plus hearing about the difficulties as well as the ongoing injuries that he sustains just due to his body not cooperating. But I laughed a ton during this. I mean, not laughing at Fox, but with him and because of him. He's still wildly sharp and he's witty. And when he's inserting perfectly timed snark to whatever may be happening, I mean, it really is hilarious. There's a point where he's walking down a sidewalk with his physical therapist and something happens. And what he says to a woman who's walking by, it was so unexpected that I snorted. I mean, it also showed the kind of guy that he is. Even in the midst of some physical event, he's kind and hilarious. I also really loved how in-depth he went with all his struggles once he got his diagnosis. Fox details his alcoholism and what he was doing in attempts to cope, and then how it would affect his family, their life, and his work. And through this, he's also very inspiring, showcasing hope for anybody that's dealing with an addiction or even a dreadful medical diagnosis. And then from a technical perspective, the editing, it's outstanding, especially with all the clips that are used to put actions to Fox's words. And then the interview itself, I mean, it's so intimate and raw, just showing us long stretches of Fox in a very vulnerable and personable state. And the movie's only about 95 minutes long. I was riveted the entire time. I could have watched even more of Michael J. Fox just tell his story and talk about his life, from his childhood and relationship with his parents to dropping out of high school and pursuing acting, and then to coming so close to abject failure only to be rocketed to absolute stardom. I mean, the documentary, it's both heartbreaking and uplifting, told in a captivating narrative to showcase how despite a debilitating disease, Michael J. Fox is thriving and triumphant. There's no sex or nudity, a lot of profanity, and no violence. Now, as a reminder, I don't give couch ratings to documentaries, but if I did, this one, it would get five out of five. But I highly, highly recommend giving Still, a Michael J. Fox movie, a watch. It is totally worth the time, and it's probably going to brighten your day. So do you have a favorite show or movie that Fox has starred in? I mean, for me, while there are a ton of great ones, my favorite is The Frighteners. I'd love to know yours, though, in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.